man. Getting themselves settled. And the first dog we're going, the first do bitch. I'm sorry, we've had the dogs. Is Mr. Newton with Amber Rambler at Neverdith. Again, these bitches are between the ages of six to nine months. As with the dogs, the bitches are showing so well for their age. A tribute to the handlers who presented them in this fashion. And here's Mrs. Mason with Orishaza Annie Oakley, bred by herself. This bitch doesn't seem as happy as the others. Perhaps there's some, some which perhaps she's just not quite settled. Tucking her tail between her legs here as she goes around. Just not quite sure the surroundings. And this is Mrs. Benson with Sondek Jamila, bred by herself. We apologise for the poor quality of the pictures in this and the next class, but your cameraman is exhibiting his own puppy bitch, and Mrs Perkins has kindly taken over the duties of cameraman for the time being. Please do not adjust your set. Normal service will be resumed as soon as I've finished handling. Judge being as quick as she can with the youngsters. Doesn't like to keep the puppies hanging around too much. And first is Mrs. Mason with Orashaza Annie Oakley. Second is Sondek Jamila. And third is Ambler Rambler of Nevedith. These names are causing a hell of a problem for me reading this catalogue. And the next class being set up is the Puppy Bitch class. Five new exhibits for the judge to look at. Show manager there just passing through, Mr Gould, making sure that all's in order. And the bitches, having been waiting most of the day to be brought into the ring, being asked to move around a couple of times, just to loosen the, loosen the bones, as it were. And the first bitch we see is Russet Mantle October, handled by yours truly, the cameraman, Mr. Wilkes. I better not say too much about this bitch, I think she's okay. Just moving round in a triangle for the judge to have a look at her movement. And the next pitch we see is Miss Barber. I think this is right. It's Collash Maiden Zephyr. Another of the new faces in the breed, it's nice to see so many new people becoming involved in the Vizsla. And here we see Mrs. Gottlieb with Russet Mantle Ochre, which is the little sister to October, the bitch we saw previous to the last one.
You'll notice that Mrs. Gottlieb has taken her boots off. It's obviously such a warm day, she feels she no longer needs to wear them. And here we have Mrs. Bugden with Dunkarig. And here we have Beryl Bugden with Dunkarig Rita, a bitch that she's bred herself. And as with the dogs and the bitches, Miss Boy's going over the dogs, all aspects of the dogs and bitches. Expecting the teeth there. And this bitch, not, not too happy there moving back towards the judge. I think the lead's got in the way there a little bit. Quite steady. And this is Miss Howe with Pipwell Golden October. Another of these wintry name bitches. And for the final decision, the bitch is just being lined up, ready now for the judge to choose. Five very nice bitches. Three best puppy winners at championship shows already in that lineup. And she's chosen Russet Mandel October first, with Pipwell Golden October second and Russet Mantle Oka third with Guntari. Next is the junior bitch class and this is the Harpers again with their bitch Gardenway Rika of Pitts Warren. Bred by the show, uh, the honorary secretary I should say, Mrs. Perkins of the Gardenway prefix. This bitch, although a junior, already has a CC to her credit. really quite nice to know that the judges think the young stock worthy of such high honours and that the young young visions are, are really looking so good as to be able to win CCs at young age. Here we have Mrs. Harris with Sejani Afonia, a bitch bred by herself. And this is Mrs. Farquhar with Sejani Aniko, little sister to the last bitch. And this is Mrs. Edwards with Askan's Odin of Fulbrook. Very happy bitch, the tail swaying from side to side. And that was Abbey Stag Quadrille, led by Mrs. Gray. Just been asked to move now, having been handled by the judge. And here we have Mr. Winter again with Strigaia Celebrity of Glen Dunn. The bitch he's been doing extremely well with. He certainly seems to have picked the right ones to come into the breed with. Judge now making up her mind as to her placings in the junior bitch class. Well, 
very strong class this with 11 exhibits and again I think she wants the two bitches to run together yes I think it's hair splitting time again both moving very nicely I don't think I'd like to have made that decision but she's put first Garden Way Rika with Strugaya Celebrity in second place just waiting for a third and fourth place choice that's Askan's Odin And third, it's Askans Odin with Reserve Strigaya Sherard. And this is the Novice Bitch class with the steward just making sure that the placings from the previous classes are in the correct order while the two new exhibits are set up for judge to in, have a look at. And the first one of the newcomers we look at is Miska of Serum. A new face to the visual ring but certainly taking her time and not being flustered at all by the occasion. I, I think he's hungry, he's had a bite at the lead there. And this is Natalia Nightwitch. Who's obviously not quite sure what she's expected to do. A little help there from the handler. And some careful handling by the judge. It's obviously very touchy, this bitch at the moment, and the judge doesn't want to disturb her or frighten her in any way. She seems much happier once she's being asked to move, doesn't she? She's really taking it in her stride now. Winners of the novice class is first Russet Mantle October, second Pipwell Golden October, and third Duncarig Rita. There's a slight hold up in this class. It seems there's been a mistake with the steward, but it's been sorted out now. And we move on to the postgraduate class. An entry of six new bitches and three from the previous class. And the first bitch we see the judge going over is Mr. and Mrs. Attery's Vadash Giselle, bred by themselves. This bitch just over three years old. And this is Castlefield Zither. Miss M. Lawrence. All the bitches in these classes now seem to know what's expected of them. All showing very nicely. Just being told exactly what she wants to do and doing it quite nice. She's getting rather excited, but who's to say that that's not a good thing? This is this is Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell's Orishaza Judy. And here is your number 48, Mr. Hill's Browster's Susanna.
always difficult to show bitches. They tend to be a little bit more flighty than the dogs, and this one's settled down quite nicely and going quite well. Quite a short dock on the towel, but that is of no major fault. And the judge now just deciding again for her final lineup. Not forgetting that she's got some bitches from the previous class further down the line. And it seems that she's going to go and have a look at those. It's quite nice to look at this bitch. There's Askans Odin. Just a quick reflect on the four new bitches. Something she's not quite sure about. She just wants to double check, and she's made a mind. And a winner from the previous winner is from the previous class. It's Askans Odin. Quite a surprise there, having been placed only third in the junior class. Comes through to win the postgraduate bitch class from the four new bitches. And we move on now to limit bitch. And there's a winner of a previous class. And Badash Giselle from the previous class. And the first we see is Sajani Zipke. You'll have to excuse me if I haven't quite pronounced that right. That's Mrs. Harris, bred by herself. Quite a well-known bitch. Used to showing off. And this is Hookside Whisper of Dulee. And she's moving quite nicely there, up to the corner and back. And a final check on the lineup. Still, the sun is shining. It's been an absolutely perfect day for for dog showing. Really been marvellous. And there's the winner of the junior class, Gardenway Rika, and Vadash Giselle that was second in the postgraduate class. Stuart Harris with Suzanne Zipke. Second is Mr. Harper's Garden Way Rika of Fitzwarren. Third is Hawkside Whisper of Dulé. And here's an old stage, it's champion Russet Mantle Troy, just being prepared for the veteran and field trial classes. Even with an older dog, practice makes perfect, and a beautiful study of the head. And straight on now into the...